In this morning's Health Watch, babesiosis. Chances are you haven't heard of it, and you may look at it and wonder how to pronounce it. It's the most serious blood disease, though, that you've never heard of. When people with a compromised immune system get it, nearly 20% of them die. As CBS News correspondent Debbie Turner-Bell reports, it's actually spread by the same ticks that cause Lyme disease. Tick season is here, and that brings bad memories for Jennifer Hertzled. I felt like I was actually had the flu, just really terrible, like I had mono practically, you know, that I couldn't keep on going. She got babesiosis probably from a tick her cat brought into the house. So you knew that ticks could carry Lyme disease? Correct. Never heard of babesiosis or, or ehrlichiosis. What led you to finally go to the doctor? I'd gone to a barbecue and I actually fainted. I mean, I passed out fainted. I had never fainted in my life. Babesiosis is contracted from the same black leg deer tick that transmits Lyme disease, but it doesn't have Lyme's telltale bullseye rash. Of the hospitalized patients with severe babesiosis, about one in 20 uh, has died. Babesiosis is prevalent in the Northeast in the upper Midwest, locations where Lyme disease also occurs. But unlike Lyme disease, babesiosis can be transmitted through either a tick bite or a blood transfusion. The FDA says it's the number one infection transmitted through the blood supply. That's why the Rhode Island Blood Center has taken drastic measures, becoming the only center in the country to screen for babesia, the parasite that causes babesiosis. About 25 percent of adults don't have any symptoms whatsoever. If they donate blood, they may transmit it to the person who gets the blood transfusion. Babesiosis is a serious problem, and both doctors and victims, like Jennifer Hertzled, urge people to take notice. I should have listened to my body sooner and done something about it. If it's not taken care of, it's got to be caught. Debbie Turner-Bell, CBS News, New York. The FDA says that it is working with blood centers to develop the best screening test for the parasite. In the meantime, doctors say if you have been exposed to ticks and if you're not feeling well, just ask your doctor to perform a test for babesiosis in addition to a test for Lyme disease.